Congratulations on that win. Thank you very much. Absolutely tremendous performance. I think the smile answers the question, but how did you feel about that? Uh, this total domination. I feel really good, even I'm not so happy with my performance. I wanted to strike, but I changed my plan because I saw I'm much better on the ground and uh, yeah, I got my finish. So you're not happy because you didn't get to show off your boxing? You wanted to kind of give us a different look or what? Exactly. I, I didn't show my striking. I'm much, much better in the gym. <laughs> well, I can't wait to see that when the opportunity presents itself. Thank you. But for now, you're welcome. But for now, let's talk about this fight because it seemed like you just had that ability to stay a step ahead of her. And even when the first round ended, I, I looked at her corner there was a little bit of confusion. The way she got up from that, from the mat was just like, you almost had her broken. Did you know, okay, I can either coast to the finish line or we're gonna finish this? What was the talk like in between rounds? Did you try to finish her and you saw the opening? The first round, she was going 100%. And uh, I'm slow starter. I like to observe the fighter, but I'm no, even I'm really slow, I'm really good with the defense. And I knew even she is going to be aggressive, I can um, manage and uh, win that round. Then uh, we got to the second round, my coroners tell me that it's good, but maybe she won the first one. And uh, I need to go harder and more aggressive in the second round. And uh, yeah, she got tired and uh, like always, I'm getting better, better and better round after round. I'm someone who did uh, five rounds before, and uh, I'm comfortable to do uh, a lot of rounds. <laughs> well, it showed. I didn't, in between that round, I, I didn't see you breathe heavy at all. You kept the pressure. You kept the pace. And speaking of your defense, you don't have any, any marks. You, you, were, you, know, you were able to avoid a lot of her, her, her counter punches, too. Uh, I got uh, <laughs> one mark on my nose. I was bleeding. But uh, I'm not scared of blood, and I'm someone, even if I see the blood, I'm more motivated, and uh, I uh, even want more, I even more want more to fight. Excellent. <laughs> Walk me through that finish. You were able to just, you know, control the fight, apply some attacks, and get her out of there. How did, how did that happen? Uh, to be honest, it was easy. In the, the, the last, I, I, I'm really calm in, uh, in into my fights and uh, I can feel when someone is really nervous and when someone don't want to be there and I, I could feel that uh, she was really tired and she didn't want it to be there anymore. So you just went for that? You, you knew you, it was right there? You just... I knew the finish is gonna come. Very nice. Uh, other than the, the nose you pointed out, not too banged up, not too much damage, how soon do we get you back in here and any names interest you? I really want to fight in Paris. I saw you guys gonna have an uh, event in Paris. I already fought in Paris four times and I won two belts in uh, RS. So uh, hopefully I can get a uh, fight in September. Yeah. That sounds like a great turnaround. Amazing job, congrats on the win. Uh, thank you very much. And one more thing, uh, I'm from Norway. I live in Norway and uh, in Norway MMA is not legal. Uh, so please legalize MMA in Norway, or at least if you guys can help us, that would mean a lot. And uh, for my country, Croatia, uh, please bring the UFC in Croatia. Excellent. Thank you. What can fans do that want to help um, Norway legalize MMA? Uh, just to be active and just say, like, legalize MMA in Norway. Me and my uh, ho coach and husband was filming uh, a lot of... Uh, fighter from UFC who was just saying like legalize MMA in Norway so we can show the Norway that everybody are interested in that. It's just uh, politicians who don't want to uh, legalize MMA but for example boxing is legal and uh, I don't see the point. If boxing is legal MMA should be legal too. How would that change your life if they were able or would it would, would it make it things easier for you if yeah, of course, that would be amazing. Uh, we could fight in Norway. Usually when I was even amateur, I was fighting out of the country because uh, even amateur was not legal. So it would be help a lot me and uh, a lot of un uh, and other fighters as well. Thank you. Ivana right here. What would that change mean to you if it was a huge contributor because of your voice and your platform? But I didn't understand the question, sorry. Uh, what would it mean to you if that change did happen because of a huge impact that you made? 
uh, what what would that mean for me? <laughs> it would mean a lot. Uh, we are trying to get legalized MMA for a really long time. Uh, we sent a lot of papers and a lot of people involved in MMA in Norway was working with that. Uh, but still, uh, MMA is not legal and it's going really slowly. They, they are taking a lot of time to get it legalized. And I kind of want to switch on to something different. I want to ask you about your vlog. How is that going? <laughs> it's going good. Uh, actually, it's my friend who are uh, uh, really helping me with that. Right now is my uh, husband brother who is there uh, filming me around. So that helps a lot. And uh, hopefully we're going to get a new vlog soon. <laughs> So yeah, it's fun. Is there anything big coming up for you in terms of that? Like any new steps that you're going to be taking or strides? Um, we are talking a lot of uh, about a lot of things right now, like business thing as well. But I'm not sure if I can talk about that. But yeah, you're gonna guys see everything. Just uh, subscribe on my channel and uh, follow me. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Just a quick one over here. You had a lot of hype coming in when you made your UFC debut. Like you said, you were very dominant in Aries FC over in France. Obviously, it didn't go your way the first time out, but what were some lessons you learned from that fight that allowed you to put on this performance today? So, yeah, uh, it was a lot of hype, and uh, even I uh, was expecting so much more uh, from me. But to be honest, to every fighter who want to come here and thinks that this is like easy peasy and you can fight here like you did at home, it's not gonna happen. It's much harder, you can feel the pressure. I could feel it the first fight, I, I still feel it. it. Even today, it was not 100% me. I really see that I need time to like, just open my, opened up and uh, free my warrior spirit. But until then, we just need to keep working and yeah. Thank you.